What's up? This is John Berkman from Devil Driver, and uh, you're checking out VicFirth.com. I was really into music at a young age. My parents always had the jukebox out, you know, playing, records playing. Typical kind of story, but as soon as I heard, like, Injustice for All, like, I just knew that the way Lars played on that record, it just struck me with such a, just told me, like, that's what you want to do. So I played on my bed for like two years with um, these rods out of a shelf. I took the two rods out that the shelf would glide on and I uh, put scotch tape around the ends. And I'm not saying like we were totally poor or anything, but you know, it's like, that was my, I was like, I need sticks at least. So I, I got comfortable with those, which uh, I played for two years on my pillows and stuff. And they, they saw the dedication and I do it every night. So got the drum set at age 14, 15. I was looking for people to play with. So a couple people here and there. And then to be honest with you, three of the, uh, two of the members in my current band, Devil Driver, were the ones I hooked up with at the age of 15 around Massachusetts. So. Um, it's been a long haul with those dudes. Once you get past playing covers and stuff, getting into songwriting is like, like playing that double bass for the first time at a certain BPM when you write a, your first song and stuff that you actually think is good is so gratifying. You know, it's like the same as studying all night and getting an A on a test. Our guitar player has a studio and we work off Cubase and it's all computers and we demo a lot of program drums and stuff. Um, just to get the point across, someone like Thomas from Meshuga does that stuff as well and what you find a lot of times is you can have fun and program stuff that's outside your capability and which you then learn, which in turn makes you a better player. We tend to write, record, put it away, start writing more before the record's even out just so that we really don't enjoy the pressure of, who we got nothing and we're supposed to be in the studio in a month. You know, it's like, so it's, it's more just it's a simple process if you just try and get at least maybe a song a month, you know, or something like that. Vic for tape is basically what keeps that stick in my hand? Uh, I am pretty notorious for dropping sticks. And it became such a problem, you know, the band actually talked to me a little bit, you know, and, and, um, and it wasn't just, you know, flubbing it, it was just like, it was slippery, just, they're out. And so I remember uh, calling up Big Firth and they sent me a box of tape and I can't play without it now. The stick just feels so strange to me without it. It's crazy, once you play with tape, it's really hard to get away from it because I mean, it just feels so right in the hand and just, feels like it just forms into your hand that way. I don't know, I can't really describe it, but if you don't use Vic for tape, I highly recommend it. favorite pastimes on the road is playing guitar. So we have, you know, simple uh, little small practice amps that we make to the dressing room every day and that's a good way to kill two hours of the day for sure. Play guitar or work on some rudiments, you know, that I find online or something. You know. When I look back at how I arrived where I am, I'm just, yeah, I just wish I had paid attention more, a little bit to the, uh, the science of drumming and uh, the rudiments and technique and stuff like that. I spend most of my days on tour just watching other drummers and picking up what I can and uh, trying to catch up for lost time. To be honest, I didn't quite choose Vic Firth. Vic Firth kind of 
just chose me as being um, in 2004 on OzFest. Um, one of their employees came out to a show and I hadn't even thought about, I was so young and just touring, I, endorsements and stuff like that didn't even cross my mind. And um, he came out and he said, hey, and I was playing Vic Firth, you know, um, already. And he came out, oh, you play Vic Firth, you know, how would you like an endorsement? You know, and it was, blew my mind, you know. <laughs> what, you know, what does that mean? And just the endurance of the stick is the most important part for me. And, um, and I punish the sticks, you know, and they hold up during the shows. That's the most important, which other sticks don't and haven't for me.